Hello, and welcome to the first segment of the Daisy Petal Diffusion Bioreactor System introductory video series. And thank you for joining me. I'm Carrie Love, the founder and CEO of Sunflower Therapeutics. Here at Sunflower, we're dedicated to making bioprocessing easier for anyone and everyone through our next generation manufacturing technologies, including our fermentation equipment. Conventional fermentation equipment operates in batch or fed batch mode and often requires extensively trained users to build and sterilize a complex bioreactor assembly ahead of a campaign. During fermentation with legacy equipment, expert operators need to regularly monitor key process parameters and be ready to respond in real time to ensure process success. On the other hand, Sunflower's Daisy Petal Perfusion Bioreactor System was designed to operate in perfusion mode using a proprietary cell retention device integrated into the bioreactor. The bioreactor is part of the single-use assembly that arrives to our customers fully built and pre-sterilized for immediate use. Our system and single-use assemblies intuitively work together with our software for a user-friendly fermentation experience. In this introductory video series, we're going to walk you through the capabilities and advantages of the DAISY pedal system. We'll demonstrate the installation of a single-use assembly. We'll provide an overview of the system software, load and execute a process recipe on the pedal workstation, demonstrate cell sampling and perfusate collection during a fermentation run, and then observe the automated system shutdown process at the end of a campaign. The Daisy Petal was designed and engineered by fermentation scientists to make fermentation operations as intuitive and easy as possible for users from all kinds of backgrounds. It also meets all of the requirements of a regulated manufacturing environment, if that's needed. Let's get started with an introduction to the Daisy Petal system with one of our teammates, Devin. Hi, I'm Devon, an industrial design engineer at Sunflower Therapeutics, and this is the Daisy Petal Perfusion Bioreactor System, which I helped design. The Daisy Petal System is fully operational upon delivery, and it arrives with all of the auxiliary equipment that you need to get your perfusion process up and running. Let's take a look. In addition to the Daisy Petal itself, you will receive a monitor, a workstation, a data server, an oxygen concentrator, an air compressor, and a chiller, all pre-configured for use with the system. All of this equipment fits easily on a six-foot lab bench or an equivalent amount of space, as we have here. In this introduction, we'll walk through the Daisy Petal system hardware with a single-use assembly already installed and a campaign in progress to demonstrate the operation of the different components. As you can see, the system has three panels. On the left panel, you will find all of the instrumentation and connections for materials flowing into the bioreactor. The top and bottom peristaltic pumps are dedicated to delivering culture media to the bioreactor vessel, each with three automated valves controlling up to six different media to accommodate different feeding strategies. These two pumps are for base and acid, respectively, to control the pH in the bioreactor, and this final pump is for antifoam addition to mitigate foaming in the bioreactor. Up here, we have the filtered air inlet line that supplies a blend of air and oxygen to the bioreactor. The center panel is where the fermentation action happens. The bioreactor sits in a cradle that monitors its weight throughout the fermentation process to maintain the fluid level inside the vessel. The cradle also houses the motor that drives the agitator in the reactor through a magnetic coupling. Up here on the panel, we have connections to circulate fluid from the chiller through the temperature control loop inside the vessel and a gas line pressure port for monitoring the bioreactor headspace pressure. This sensor is located within the air inlet line. Gases exit through the exhaust line near the center of the bioreactor head plate, which is held inside this condenser and gas line outlet heater in the center of the panel during operation. These components prevent condensation from entering the off-gas analyzer inside the daisy pedal, which measures the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the exhaust air, direct indicators of microbial respiration and metabolic rate. Over to the right of the condenser are the connectors for the pH and dissolved oxygen probes, which simply screw into the single-use sensors built into the head plate of the bioreactor. Below these connectors, there's another set of automated valves, which control the flow of fluid from Sunflower's proprietary in-vessel perfusion devices called cell retention devices, or CRDs, 
The two CRDs in each bioreactor enable culture fluid to be removed from the vessel throughout the fermentation process without removing any cells from the reactor. This enables the continuous removal of fermentation waste and secreted products while allowing the cells to stay in the carefully controlled bioreactor environment that has all the right nutrients, gases, and environmental factors to keep them happy. On the right panel, we have all of the instrumentation controlling the fluids exiting the bioreactor. Two of the peristaltic pumps control the flow of fluid through the cell retention devices, and one pump draws fluid and cells from the vessel through a cell bleed tube to maintain a target cell density in the bioreactor. This tube is also used to draw samples of cells and fluids from the bioreactor during operation for offline measurements of cell density, nutrient consumption, and other cultivation parameters. The automated valves here control the flow of fluids to either waste or collection. There are two pressure sensor ports, one for monitoring the pressure inside the cell retention device, and another for the pressure of the perfusion collection line. Lastly, we have a sample port mount at the front right corner of the daisy pedal. This supports the valve to enable quick and easy bioreactor sampling. As you've seen throughout this demonstration, the Daisy Petal's hardware components and single-use assembly work hand-in-hand -hand to make the fermentation process intuitive and easy for system users. Installation of the single-use assembly is the most hands-on step in the entire process when using the Daisy Petal system. In the next video, we'll show you the simple steps to install the single-use assembly.